Hey everybody, it's Tracy. I know I haven't been on again lately. Just been busy with life and work and family. I am still working on craft projects that I do plan on sharing. But I wanted to share with you my uh, yard sale haul from Saturday. We have a neighborhood that is like three or four streets long that they do an annual yard sale. It's on the first August of Saturday every year. And my friend and I went, we started around eight, got down around one or one thirty. And not a lot of finds, but some good deals on what we did find. And so I'm gonna share with you what I found. So you can see this little owl here. I got him from, for a coworker of mine. She loves, loves owls. So I seen him and he, it's supposed to be a necklace piece. I don't know if I broke him or when I put him in my wallet or if he was broken when I purchased him, but uh, I'm going to try and fix him. As you can see right here, that little piece got broken when the husband was trying to help me fix him. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fix it. Um, and I paid $2 for him and I thought he was so adorable that I had to pick that up for him her excuse me pick him up for her so that's my little owl guy that I found and funny enough he was in a little glass case next to a necklace that I was told do not touch unless I plan on getting pregnant it's some kind of Buddha God thing or something I'm not really sure um so that was at one sale actually no these here were also at that sale um, some Stampin' Up stamps that I got for $3. I should have probably talked her down, but they weren't even used. So I thought $3 was a really good deal. That's that one. Um, this one here. Not that I need any more stamps. And again, those ones are not used. And this one here. This one, I think there's a couple that were used in it. Um, and that was at the same sale for 3 bucks. No, you can't see him. And then I also found this punch at that yard sale for three bucks. So that was at the one house. Um, all this other stuff, except for this one, was at one. Okay, so this one was at a house by itself. And I didn't notice, but this one here is missing. And it says always and forever. But, I mean, 50 cents for all of those little cling stamps. And then there's a solid one here. So that was kind of cool. And I got this punch, which I was not sure if I had it or not. But I got that for a dollar. And at the same sale, when I went to go pay, I found this um, you know, stacker for 50 cents. I, and it can't, had the pins in it, which I don't really sew a lot, but I do sew. So that'll come in handy. And then all this other stuff was all from one house. And she had lots more ephemera, or whatever you want to call it, there. And I was very good and controlled myself. <laughs> all of this stuff in this pile that I'm showing you was $29 for everything. So I got these little charms here. Those are kind of cute. And then um, these blooms, which I've never used them before, but I have the paper silk flowers, so I figured those would be kind of cool to accent with. Um, and then this stationery, stations, stationer's desk, I don't know, but it's by Prima. So these are the little buttons here and this stamp. I thought those were really cute. Um, there's some Tim Holtz ideology memo pins there. And these little um, watches, Jolie's. I thought that would be those would be good for the Alice in Wonderland graphic 45 paper I have. That I'm scared to use still. <laughs> and there's some rhinestones there with little butterflies. I thought those were super cute. And then this one here. 
a little um, flower there. And these little flowers, plenty of flowers. And then these here, there's only three, but still, I mean, you know. And oops, this package fell apart on the way home. And then the Bow Bunny Brads there. <clears throat> and then this is all graphic 45. And I'm pretty sure she got it from an LSS that we used to have that closed down a few years ago. We have a new one, but they don't carry a whole lot of graphic 45. So sad face there. And this is the Tropical Travelodge sticker sheet. There's a couple little blemishes on there but I'm sure that I can work with them you know because they're not super bad yeah. and then the paper pack I checked and all these paper packs do have all the papers in them so there's this one is the tropical travelage 12 by 12 pack you can see that the store sold them for $19.99 and I got it for five bucks. All the papers are in there. And the next one is on the boardwalk. And I had a couple sheets of this that my friend Scrappin' Amy or Idaho Amy, so Scrappin' or Idaho Amy, um, gave me a few years ago. This one's on the boardwalk. And they again had it for $19.99. And I paid five bucks for it. All the papers are in there. And then the last one, I saw somebody on Facebook on the Graphic 45, Original 45, however you call it, page was asking if they were ever going to redo this one. I never even seen it before. Transatlantic for five bucks. And this must be, like, it says 2009. And it says, like, the little sticker there, rather than printed like the other packs. But, um... All the papers are in that kit as well, and the store sold this one for $19.99 as well. So that was all my scrapbook crafting haul from Saturday. And I uh, had seen more Graphic 45 at this yard sale, but there was only a couple of sheets in the pack and she still wanted five bucks. She also had two stacks of Tim Holtz and... There was another one, I can't remember what it was, and I'm now I'm regretting not buying it, plus a whole bunch more ephemera. Anyway, so that's my yard sale haul, and I do promise I'm going to get my crafty projects up soon. Thanks for stopping by.